Hi, my name is Christoph, and I will be presenting our paper Exploiting Temporal Context for Tiny Object Detection. This work has been a collaborative effort between Leiden University and the Netherlands Organization for Applied Scientific Research. In many surveillance applications, we need to detect tiny objects which consist of only a few pixels. Two applications we address in this work are aerial surveillance, where we need to detect cars and other vehicles, and person detection. When zooming in on example objects from these datasets, you can see that they are very low resolution and thus have poor appearance features, which makes these objects very difficult to distinguish from the image background. Deep learning object detection models have been very successful for detecting objects of sufficient spatial resolution. However, the poor spatial features of tiny objects pose a challenge for models that rely purely on this appearance information. For both our applications, video data is available, meaning we can exploit temporal information for object detection. However, this dimension is often ignored by deep learning approaches. We argue that exploiting the temporal context from video data is an important factor in improving tiny object detection systems. Even when appearance features of objects are small, the fact that the object moves between frames gives us an immediate indication of the object's location. When looking at the example frame on the right, it is quite difficult to spot the persons from this single image alone. When we start playing the video, however, the fact that the object starts moving helps us to localize them easily. In this work, we try to exploit this by introducing temporal context to deep learning object detection architectures. We developed a spatial temporal object detector, which combines spatial features and temporal context in order to improve the detection of tiny moving objects. The YOLO V5 object detection model was chosen as our baseline for its high accuracy and real-time performance on single-frame datasets. The main idea of the spatial temporal approach is that the color information embedded in the channels of the input image are replaced by multiple temporal frames. In still image object detection, input in images generally consist of three color channels that are used by the model to detect objects. For our approach, we instead sample two additional support frames and combine these with the target frame to construct the final input data. You can see that using this approach, the moving objects are highlighted compared to the image background, making it easier for the object detection model to identify them. Furthermore, as appearance features are still included in the model input, the ability to detect stationary objects is not lost. Based on the spatial temporal idea, we developed two model architectures. The first, called t yolo v 5 uses the same model architecture as the baseline yolo v 5 model, but is now trained on the temporal input images. The model is trained to locate objects in the middle frame and does not require the use of labels from the added support frames. Using this architecture, we can introduce motion information to the object detection model without additional inference cost compared to the single frame model. The second architecture, T2 Yolo V5, consists of a two-stream approach. Besides our previously described network, a second, smaller backbone network is added to specialize on extracting motion-only features. This subnetwork takes as input two image channels that are generated by taking the absolute frame difference between the target frames and the two support frames. This eliminates stationary backgrounds from the image, leaving only the temporal motion features. The features of both backbones are concatenated and combined by the head network, after which object detections are returned. By choosing a small secondary backbone, we limit the impact of this module on the model's inference speed. We test our approach for the aerial surveillance application by using a publicly available dataset. This dataset contains aerial grayscale footage, which has been auto-rectified to ensure recorded frames overlap, simulating a static camera. It contains a single vehicle class that needs to be detected. Following literature, multiple areas of interest are cropped from the complete scene in order to create independent train and evaluation sets. In our experiments, the models were trained on areas 1 and 3 and evaluated on area 2. The dataset contains multiple resolution scales denoted by R0 to R3, where the sizes of objects range from around 30 by 30 pixels on R0 down to less than 4x4 4 4 pixels of the R3 scale. Besides containing tiny objects, 
This dataset is also challenging due to the noisy background caused by illumination changes and the parallax effects, which can be seen in this sped up video. We evaluate our models on the highest resolution R0 scale of this dataset, where we focus only on detecting moving objects. Previously used approaches consist of both traditional moving object detection methods based on background subtraction and frame difference, as well as competing spatial temporal deep learning models. We show that our approaches are effective for detecting small moving objects, outperforming all previous methods and the single frame baseline. Next, we investigate the performance of our approach for the various resolution scales available for this dataset. In this figure, you can see the F1 score of our approaches on the R0 to R3 resolution scales. We see that the addition of temporal context significantly improves the detection of moving objects, even when resolution is lowered. Both our approaches perform well, even when tasked with detecting moving objects of only 4x4 pixels in size. Here we show some qualitative results of our best performing model on the R0 and R3 resolution scales. In these videos, ground truth labels are visualized as red boxes and model detections as yellow dots. Again, these models have been trained to only detect moving objects, causing parked or stationary cars to be ignored. We see that our model is able to accurately detect moving objects, even when the resolutions are very low, as shown in the right video. In contrast to traditional moving object detection approaches, the spatial temporal models are still able to detect stationary objects. Thus, we compare the performance of our approaches on the persistent versions of the dataset, which also includes static objects. This is a more challenging situation, as the dataset contains many densely packed stationary objects. In the figures, we show the average recall results on moving and static objects separately. We see that our approaches improve the performance for moving objects, whilst matching the performance of Yolo V5 on static objects, showing that the models can use temporal context to their advantage, even when many stationary objects are present. We now show result detections of T2 Yolo V5 on the persistent dataset with the added stationary objects. These mostly consist of parked cars in the bottom left. From the qualitative results, we see that our approach can simultaneously detect stationary and moving objects when the object resolution is high enough, as shown in the left video. When resolution drops significantly in the right video, however, the ability to detect stationary objects is lost. Using motion information, the model is still able to detect moving objects, even in this challenging scenario. Besides aerial surveillance, we also compare our approaches for the person detection task where we aim to locate persons from static camera footage. For this, we constructed a custom tiny person detection benchmark by combining the publicly available VROD ground dataset with our own recorded dataset called TwitCam. TwitCam contains three 2FPS video sequences of people in a natural environment and is used to evaluate our approaches. Due to the camera position, this situation also adds the extra difficulties of multi-scale objects and partial object occlusions. For this dataset, we compare the performance using average precision, where performance is split for three object size ranges, tiny one to tiny three. We see that our approaches outperform the single frame baseline for this benchmark, with the largest improvement seen on the smallest object size category, tiny one. This indicates again, that using temporal context is especially important when dealing with very low resolution objects. From qualitative results from this experiment, we found that T2 YOLO V5 improves detection for both tiny faraway objects as well as partially occluded objects. In both these cases, motion cues can aid the detection model to lo locate tiny objects, even when appearance features are small or disrupted by background objects. To conclude, we presented two spatial temporal deep learning models for tiny object detection. We found that introducing temporal context to deep learning models can improve the detection of tiny moving objects compared to the single frame baseline, whilst not impacting the performance on stationary objects. Furthermore, the approaches showed resilience against noisy backgrounds in the aerial surveillance application and partially occluded objects in the person detection domain. In future research, we are planning to further evaluate these approaches for applications with moving cameras. Thank you for your time.